So welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about the 4% rule and how you can use the 4% rule for retirement. My name is Eric Sito. I'm a CPA. From 2016 to 2020, my return in total is 783%. And that is an annualized return of approximately 54% per year. This video is for people who want to retire faster. Now the 4% rule is the safe withdrawal percentage from your portfolio on an annual basis. So the 4% rule really revolves around taking money out of the portfolio. It's not necessarily an investing strategy. And once you reach around half a million to a million, then you can start taking out a more meaningful amount on an annual basis. So for example, if you're looking at half a million, which is $20,000, then that's approximately $2,000 a month. Now, before you reach your desired portfolio size, you will want to let your money compound for you for as many years as possible. So right now on this slide, you will see the S&P 500 return for the last 10 years. But what if you look at 2018? Then that's when the 4% rule is not enough. In 2018, the inflation is 2.44%. And you can see the S&P 500 return is negative 4.38%. Out of 11 years that we got here, three years actually didn't work. But most of the time, the 4% rule works and there's usually enough residual value for you to take that money out. So in 2016, my return was around 78% using my strategy. 17 is 40%. And in 2018, was only 3.58%. And even though I kind of did a relatively good job beating the market and getting a positive return, which is 3.58, I still didn't meet the requirement to make 4%. Now, to solve this problem, we actually need a buffer. During the bad years, you want to have some cash on hand before the bad years happen. Now, what if you make 10%, but you want to take 4% out? you're following the 4% withdrawal rule. Now, if you do that, then what you'll end up getting is starting 100,000 and it will only grow to 226,000. So you can see that the growth there actually slowed down significantly is the difference between $150,000. And if you're looking to achieve that 1 million mark ASAP, then you need to have that discipline to not take money out keep letting it invest and work for you. How should you structure your portfolio? For a capital gain driven portfolio like myself, I like to take money out of the portfolio when I take profit. And this is important because I try to time the market in a way where I'm maximizing the profit taking to calculate what is the portfolio balance you need by state to retire. If you are looking at this chart, you can actually pause this video, change it to high definition and look at your own state. So finally, we're going to cover the critical element to retirement. So the first one is how much you save when you're working a full-time job. Now, the second one is how long you can invest for. The cost of investing is not the first year. The cost of investing is the last year. So the earlier you start, the more you compound and the more money you make near the end. And that is the tricky part about investing because it is based on time. And the only way you can speed it up is the third factor, which is how much return you make. And that depends on your investing strategy. So if you look at the table on the right again, then the first column is your typical S&P 500, 10% return. The third column is a more advanced strategy that requires more management, that requires more in-depth financial knowledge. And that is my target personally as well. So here you can see that in year four, you can actually double your portfolio using a 30% return. So I just want to celebrate another couple of case studies within Investing Accelerator, where Flo made 41% from Bank of America in five months. Serena made 18% from TD after 40 days. And Fentcash made 80% from Boeing in two months. Now, Tony also made 104% from Boeing in three months. And Eric and he made 100% from Boeing in one and a half months. And finally, Mike made 30% from RTX, which is actually a defense company, in five months. 
Now, if you're interested in becoming part of Investing Accelerator or learning more about it, then there's actually a free case study in the description.